Hi everybody, San Bonani, welcome to my channel. Listen, you guys, the way life works, because I thought that you know go had a perfect body, perfect, you know, face, perfect everything. But clearly she did not think so because she has gone and did some uh plastic surgery or plastic surgeries <laughs> and changed some things with her body. You know, we always want what we don't have, you know. I would take Nongo's old body, you know, in a second. Okay, she had a flat stomach, easy. I know what's about him. Telela la payana, but I'm a hip side or something. It was just them, but I don't want to lie, you guys. And as it was like, you know, I mean, even if there were imperfections here and then, it was nothing that she couldn't work off in, in a gym <laughs> if she wanted to. And also, even when she started doing things to her face, like she started uh, with the injections, I think, on her lips. I just didn't understand because she had perfect full lips. But for some reason, she wanted to do something. Okay, fine. And then her face started looking like, okay, something is going on there. But you guys, it's understandable. I don't think that you can be friends with this one. If <laughs> I don't think you can be friends with this one and not want to do plastic surgery. You, you know, if you are friends with this one, you're going to start feeling like, you know what? Everything in your body needs to be changed, okay? Uh, so it makes sense, okay? It's like peer pressure, but it's like these people are too old. <laughs> or like peer pressure, but it is. It is because uh, Nogu never really used to talk about wanting to change anything about her body until you know, she became friends with this one. Of course, you can't blame her all the way because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're doing if you're <laughs> spending time with me. I'm not going under the knife <laughs> to cut my body because you can't. Really. So at the end of the day, it's still had this skin, but I do feel like she did influence her a little bit. Okay. So I was shocked, you guys, that uh, she's changing her body like that. But I guess, I mean, she wasn't happy with some things and wanted to change uh, things. I still feel like she was perfect. Okay. Her, her face was perfect. She had nice lips, she had nice body, but she did not feel that way. So, uh, the Sunday world is uh, writing uh, in details about this story, you guys. But when I look into this article, you guys, it's mostly uh, generated from the posts that she was posting on Instagram because she has been uh, giving uh, full details of uh, the updates on what she has been doing with her body. She's got videos over there. Yo, she has that video where I can't play it because it has music in it. And it's like, I, I was trying to see if I can play it without music. And uh, I couldn't. I don't know if it's just me who can't. You know, when they put the thing, yeah, when they are sanctioning the, the feds so that they can go put it somewhere else. <laughs> they show that. That alone will make me not want to do that thing, okay? So let's see what they're saying about it. A glimpse into the RHOD star Uncle Williams lipos liposuction journey, okay? So she did the thing where they take the fat out of uh, the stomach. I think that's what they do. Real Housewives of uh, Devon star Uncle Williams recently shared uh, that she would be undergoing a cosmetic surgery. William said in a video that she wanted to be real, open, and authentic with her followers, which is the reason uh, she's sharing her surgery journey. As part of the glow up journey, I'm all about improving my health and I want to get body beautiful too, she uh, shared. Um, the clutch kick starts a weight loss program together with my lifestyle changes has helped me with my weight goals, but there are a few stubborn areas that I still uh, want uh, to be snatched, okay? She has been going to the gym. If you are following her on Insta Instagram, you would know that she is somebody that uh, goes to the gym. Williams did liposuction uh, from her back and her tummy and her arms, because I saw them measuring her arms too and her thighs. After the surgery, she shared, uh, that the process went well and thanked her doctors. I'm glad it went well, you guys, because it can go wrong too, even though it's elective uh, surgery. A glimpse into the liposuction journey thus far. I'm home. I'm healing well. The recovering is a journey, but I'm confident. Guys, imagine, imagine. 
bakipa bakvulala bakipa bakvulala yo imagine the healing journey guys i couldn't uh, recover from iskanyanyana esisodwa sokubeletha umntwana imagine imagine <laughs> Hey, the things that people put themselves through. Thank you for all the love so far. I felt safe, supported, and informed throughout my journey, she wrote. Okay. And uh, on Sunday, she shared that she's home and recovering well, noting that she was an, uh, she was in unbearable pain. Oh, my God. <laughs> the way that I have so, uh, such low tolerance for pain, I just wouldn't put voluntarily put myself in a position where I feel so much pain. Okay. She felt like she had been run over. She felt like she had been run over by a bus. I can imagine you guys. This is a thing that I don't understand, though, about these celebrities. They will go do plastic surgery, okay, and then come back and advertise some weight loss shake. <laughs> and they're like, girl, we all know how you lost your weight. So how do you want us to take this weight loss shake? when it didn't work for you, because obviously if it works, it would have worked for you. Then you wouldn't have needed to go under the knife if you had just taken the shake. So I never understand it. Like they're doing this weight loss, what, 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 uh, journeys and what, what, and then they go do plastic surgery and they come back as if, you know, especially when she's the one that has shared the chain. So I don't understand. Here it is here. Fuel up smoothly. A few weeks ago, uh, Williams announced uh, her new business project, uh, Glow Up Smooth by Nongo Williams. Some of her fans uh, were left fuming and said influencers should stop scamming their followers. It is a scam, honestly, you guys. It is a scam. If you are advertising something and saying you are using it to lose weight, but then you go and do something else to lose the weight and not the thing, but you are still selling the thing to your followers. It doesn't make sense. This is after she was seen going for her weekly weight loss injections. Some accused her of using too many uh, face apps, filters, and Botox. I feel like maybe she did something to her face, you guys. I don't know if I would say it's Botox, but definitely, I, I feel like her, change, her face is uh, changing. You know, every time I see her face, it has changed. Her lips, and just, you know, she's doing something. She's George's friend, you guys. What do we expect? Some of her friends were left, uh, okay. Some accused her of using too many face apps, filters, and Botox. They expressed that they were not buying into her glow up shake, uh, noting that she should do things authentically to see the true results. Exactly. So how do we know that it works if it didn't work with you? But anyway, you guys, listen, I'm sure she's going to look good after she heals, you know, uh, and it's good that everything went well. Because we know, we all know, you know, you know that influencer that recently passed away after she did a mommy makeover. So things can get bad with this surgery. So it's good that she was safe. And but I, I also don't understand this thing. Yama <laughs> shakes our about advertiser after they go under the knife mona. Anyway, that's it, you guys. Noku went and changed a perfect body, you know. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes they were and say, yo. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda.